Hello. 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 Um, where are you? Are you? What? Uh, what country? Mm. What? I'm from Indonesia. 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 Mm -hmm. Welcome. Thousands of islands. Thank you, Kevin. Yeah. <laughs> you are a archipelago. Archipe archipelago. Archipelago. Yep. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Lucas, how are you? Uh, fine. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Good, good. It's good to see you. Now, Lucas, uh, where are you calling us from? Uh, I'm from Brazil. Brazil? Okay, very good. Servette, good to see you again, as always. Yeah, thank you. Okay. It's good to see you, the teacher. And uh, Soso, it's good to see you. Well, I can't see you, but welcome. <laughs> good to hear you. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I see your picture, <coughs> excuse me, on the chat, but that's it. That's fine. Hello, Laura. It's good to see you Hello. again. Uh, we have someone else from southern Russia here today. Hmm. So, I mean, a big country, but so it's kind of surprising. Uh, where did he go? Uh, Igor, Igor Victor. Yes. Okay, okay. This is a class about word usage and pronunciation. Now, I've got some things prepared that I will love to go over with you, but I'd also like to hear what you would like before I do anything else. So let's start with um, Ayu. Welcome again. Yeah. And can you Thank tell you, Kevin. You, you're welcome. Can you tell me, please, why you are here? What, what you are looking for from this class? Uh. Actually, I don't know <laughs> <laughs> the specific idea, idea why I am here. But yeah, at least I know Kalingo is giving me something important, giving me something new knowledge about uh, English, improve my English, whatever, uh, make up my pronunciation, uh, a lot of things from Kalingo. Okay, okay. So really, you're here because, well, it's free. And um, <laughs> to work on your pronunciation, the pronouncing of words. Am I right? Yeah. Okay, sure. great. Like Exactly. Yes. Like archipelago. Archipelago. Yeah, arch okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> try that. Try that for me. Archipelago. Oh, very good. Very good. Okay. Yes. See, you're off to a very good start. All right. Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. Um, Hugo. Hugo. As yes, that's how you. Yes, I I, I I with you. I I am in my leisure time, so I don't expect uh, something in particular uh, from the class. Only to practice to train my my English level. Okay, okay, just to improve the level of English, uh, so you're more comfortable conversing in, in English. Is that correct? Exactly. Uh, speaking English with others. Okay. Um, okay, and comprehension. Good. Okay, Igor. Igor. Yes. Uh, please tell me why you are here. Mm. I like to learn English. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's a good reason. <laughs> is <laughs> Is there anything in uh, particular that that you would like to learn? Anything that that puzzles you? No is an okay answer. Okay, I'll tell you what. We'll just go on. Um, Laura, good to see you as always. Welcome. Me too. Welcome. Um, are you here for something special or, or just for my charming good looks? I want to improve my English too, and uh, it is very interesting way for that. Oh, good! I'm glad. Well, this is fun for me. Lots of fun, and I meet some really wonderful people. So that that is good. Lucas, hello, Lucas. Hi. Hi. Welcome. Welcome. Now, tell me. Thank you. Uh, why are you here? Why are you here? Uh, uh, I'm here to improve my my English too. Okay. And. And I learn uh, uh, something with this class. Okay. Uh, is this? <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's a good place to start. Thank uh, you. Maurice, Mauricio. Um, interesting good picture. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> That's very Christmassy. Very Christmassy. Yes. 
Thank you. That's me. That's me. Uh huh. I I I made it. I made it last last Christmas uh -huh. for a magazine. I see. So I decided to put it on on as a as my how do you say that? As my picture. As, as your Colingo. picture. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. That's good. That works fine. Thank uh, you. <laughs> so Vet, this is a different picture. Yes, uh, it's the logo. My favorite theme is also contained my uh, first letter of my name. Okay, oh. so so what team is this? Uh, baseball. Soccer team. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Of course. Of course. <laughs> so so, how are you? Uh, hello, I'm so so with no picture. <laughs> with so so with no picture. <laughs> but a, <laughs> a very okay, nice place. Uh, Okay, uh, I'm here to improve my speaking skill because next year I'll be moving to UK uh, to get an MA degree in linguistics. You'll be you'll be moving to where? UK, England. Oh, United Kingdom. Okay, England. Uh, very good, very good. So, what what uh, university will be will you be attending? Uh, maybe Nottingham. I'm not sure yet. Okay. Okay. Um, now, English, British English, and American English are are slightly different, but you'll still learn enough uh, here to serve you quite well there. Uh, this website make me want to change to USA. <laughs> well, you would be welcome. You would be welcome and you do well either place. So um, again, welcome and, uh, and we'll get started. Now, I have prepared a little bit of something uh, for you to look at. And what I prepared is a copy of one of the best speeches ever written and ever delivered. Can you see that? Yes. Yes. Okay. Good, good, good. I'm going to bring this up so you can see. Now, um, who feels brave today? Me. Who's me? Me, Sarvet. I'm always brave. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Sarvet. Yes. You see, you see the speech on my screen. Yes. Yes. The words. Yes. Read it to me, please. Five, five score years ago, a great American, in whose symbolic shadow we stand today, signed the Emancipation Proclam Proclamation. Proclamation. Good. Proclamation. This momentous degree came as a great beacon light of hope to millions of Negro slaves who had been seared in the flames of withering injustice. It came as a jailhouse daybreak to end the long night of their captivity. Okay. Good, 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 good. Do, do you recognize this speech? Do any of you know what this speech is? He's talking about Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln. It, it's not Abraham Lincoln. Oh, it's not Abraham no? Lincoln, although he's making uh, a reference to Abraham Lincoln. Oh, Jefferson. Uh, oh my goodness. Luther King. Martin yeah. Luther King Jr. Luther King. Yes. Yes. Oh. Now, let's Martin. take a look at him doing the speech. At his doing the speech. Okay. 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 Now, can you see my YouTube? Can everyone see that? Yeah. Okay, let's see if I can bring it up a little. Nope, I'll have to bring it up higher. Now, listen carefully. Uh, Can you hear it? No. Can I you can't hear, hear. It? Okay, good.
Okay. Okay. Now, are you are you having trouble hearing? Yes, I can. I can hear the. Kevin? Yes. Uh, the link, it's banned in my country. Do you have another link? I don't. I'd have to go looking at it again. Okay. So, How many so minutes? It, I can it's look only, it on YouTube. It, it's only a few, and, and I, I was playing it on YouTube. Um, I'll tell you what. Let me bring up the link, and uh, let's see. Here's our link, and I'll, I'll put it in the chat room. And I'll tell you what, instead of, instead of uh, we playing this one now, why don't, why don't we um, just talk about it, I'll read it, and then we'll go back and talk about the language and how it's used. Is that okay, everybody? No. Uh, my YouTube uh, writes that I can't see that yes. uh, it's blocked. Okay. The same problem. The same for you? Okay. Well, what I mean is, instead of showing the video, instead of showing the video, I will just read it myself. I've, I've delivered this before. Um, it's much better when Dr. King does it. But I'll do it, and, and you can listen along with me, okay? Okay. okay. All right. Here we go. And I'm very sorry about the link. <clears throat> okay. Five years ago, a great American, in whose symbolic shadow we stand today, signed the Emancipation Proclamation. This momentous degree came as a great beacon of light of hope to millions of Negro slaves who had been seared in the flames of withering injustice. It came as a joyous daybreak to end the long night of their captivity. Now, let's take a look at this. You can see, still see it on the screen, right? Yes. Now, comments. When, when Does anyone have a comment about these words. Let's start there. Nothing? Mm. I have a few vocabularies that I oh. don't familiar with. Great. Let's go ahead. Which which one? <coughs> which one? Um, emancipation mm. proclamation. Uh, okay. I'll do emancipation proclam oops. Mm. Come on. Uh, Hang on, I'll bring this up to the beginning. I just didn't. Beacon Light. Uh, okay. Emancipation Proclamation. Beacon joyous, Light. Joyous Day. Joyous Daybreak. Yes. Negro is leaves. Is leaves. Negro slaves. Okay. Uh, anything Withering. else? Withering. 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 Um, do you know injustice? What injustice is? Yes. Captivity. Okay. Captivity. Oh, beautiful. Okay, great. These are all very, very important words, and it's one of the things that that makes this such a powerful speech. How about symbolic? Do you know symbolic? Yes. Um, a symbol. Yeah. It it stands for something else. Mm -hmm. Now let me give you a picture, a picture of where they were standing. This speech was given in. I think it was 1963. There was a huge civil rights march. Do you know what I mean by civil rights? Yes. What do I mean? Human rights, like civil, um, maybe. Okay. Civil. In America, we had a very, very serious problem, and we still do with race relations, the, the way um, 
white Americans and and uh, African Americans, uh, Chinese American, you know, the different races get along with each other. There was a time in America. Okay. Are you careful? I think we're getting feedback. Okay. When many white people, not all of them, in fact a minority, owned owned as property uh, African people. They were slaves. Slaves. Uh, so you, you know what a slave is? Yes. yes. Yeah, somebody who owns somebody else. Um, and that's this word right here. Negro, well, some of you are um, they might have the same word in Portuguese as in Spanish. Negra. Negra. What does negra mean? Uh, is uh, African people? Well, black. Negra means black. Black, black people. Mm. Black yeah, people. black. Black people. And, and the term we used to describe um, black people at that time was African and I heard a voice. Okay, me. Uh, Kevin, yes. uh, I heard that it's not polite to call black people that name, right? The word, and um, I will say this here because it's a class, and this is one you should I, never I use. I know. I, yes, I know the word. Does everybody else? Not Negro. There's yeah, another the word. word. Okay. Does everybody know? I'm going to use it um, unless uh, anyone would get offended, um, but it's deeply insulting. Um, it's nigger. That is deeply, mm -hmm. deeply insulting. You do not okay. use it. <laughs> now, Negro simply means black, but they don't use that term anymore either. Nowadays, it is African American. Okay. Okay, because again, they are Americans like the rest of us. Mm. It, it's just, I mean, I'm Irish American. My my uh, ancestors came from Ireland and from Germany, so I'm Irish American or German American. We have Chinese American. We'd have Indonesian Americans and so forth. All right, so that takes care of that one. Uh, does everyone understand Negro slaves? Yes. Yes. It's very very okay. pejorative. Uh, Negro is very per pejorative. No, Negro is not pejorative. There's the other word I used, which is deeply pejorative, and you just do not use it, period. Um, I would not use Negro anymore either, uh, because the term we use is African American, to indicate country of ancestry. Because um, we have, like I said, we've got Brazilians, we have Mexicans, we have Europeans, we've got uh, just everybody from all over. So we just make that designation. African, European, Mexican, whatever. Uh, Brazilian, Nicaraguan. Um, now, let's go to Emancipation Proclamation. Emancipation Proclamation. Okay, Two words we need to look at. Remember what I said about the uh, African Americans being slaves. To emancipate to emancipate means to set free. To emancipate means to set free. Okay? Right. All right. A proclamation comes from the word proclaim, to say loudly. This particular proclamation, this, this statement, statement, was written on a piece of paper and they called it the Emancipation Proclamation or the Proclamation of Freedom. In this one, uh, President Lincoln, Abraham Lincoln, during our great Civil War, wrote this in like 1863, and he said, um, at this time, all the slaves, <laughs> all the slaves in our country, including the southern states, are now free. There is no more slavery. There is no more slavery. And, and that made it famous, very famous, because it had never been done that way before. Now let's look up here. What do I mean by five score? Five score. Can anyone guess? 
<laughs> okay. Can you see what I'm typing over here? Maybe Score. Ten. Equals. Decade? Exactly. Not a decade. Close. Score is 20. Oh. Score is 20. So. Go ahead. So, 50 years ago? It's a century. Five score is a century. It's 100 years. Now, this yes. is one of the ways. Oh. <laughs> when, when King wrote this, he was doing two things. And it's his word choice that made everything really work. Danu, Danu, welcome. Yes, yeah. Hi, teacher. Hello, hello. Hi, you can call hi, me Kevin. Danu. <laughs> hi, hi, all. Now, I'm following you. You can complete, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He said five score years ago. Now, five score is 100. Why do you think he used the language five score? Anybody want to wanna guess? Yeah. To okay, emphasize his word. Go ahead. Again, are you? To emphasize his words. His to speeches. Okay, yes. To emphasize his words. It's very powerful words. So it sounds good. Does everybody agree that sounds pretty good? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 Okay. Let me throw something else out at you. There's another very, very famous American speech that begins like this. Four score and seven years ago. Have you heard of this one? No. This is a speech given by Abraham Lincoln, which is also one of the greatest speeches ever written. And Lincoln got up and said, four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation. Okay? Now, he could have said 87 years, <laughs> but he didn't. <laughs> so when Martin Luther King gave this speech and said five score years ago, he was making the reference to four score and seven years ago. Do you see? Yes. So word choice is very, very important. So, as many people, when they do a speech, come up with a very flowery introduction and lots of words, what King did, and one of the things that you need to do, and remember, is only say what you need to say. Don't put in any extraneous details. Or Don't say... Um, I'm sorry? No? You mean sub-details? Don't you put sub-details? I don't understand. Could you write it in the chat room so I can look at it, please? Okay. Without sub details? Without sub details. Oh, okay. What you mean mm -hmm. is supporting details, additional words. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. You've got to remember that this part of the speech is the introduction. And mm -hmm. the idea behind an introduction isn't to give a lot of supporting details. Mm -hmm. It's to get people interested to get people fired up. Okay. So, okay, but darn good question. What King was doing is the first thing he was going to do was make everybody think of Abraham Lincoln, who set so many people free. Okay, and that's the Emancipation Proclamation. Now, let's go down to this one. A great beacon light. Okay, um, I'm getting feedback from someone. Uh, Lucas, perhaps? Yeah. Lucas, can you mute for me? Party. 
Okay. Okay. Let's go back. Now, who, who would like to guess at a beacon? What a beacon is? It's like signal. It is English word. Yes, signal. it is. An, it is an English. Yeah. Go, go, go ahead, mm -hmm. Laura. Would you like to uh, add anything? Yeah. A signal for people, maybe. It's like oh. this. Okay, um, that's good. Uh, it's it's a signal that you can see from far off, from far off, mm. to lead you to a certain place. So, a beacon light would be what? And we've got Laura speaking. How about you, Go? What do you think? Is from lighthouse. Uh, it's, it's, it's a sign. Okay. Sign. Yeah. A beacon light would be a sign. A sign of hope. So let's go back and take a look at this this sign of hope. And he is saying that this great or beacon. Yes. Like go ahead. a like a horizon. I don't understand what you're saying. Something Can you write that in chat so I can see? I, I can't understand what you're saying. Could you type it in the chat room so I can see it? Some goal to follow. Okay, it could be something to follow or something to lead. Something to lead. Okay? Now, Let's go down to here because this all has to be together. All has to be together. The flames of withering injustice. Uh, Servet, say that for me, please. Flames of withering injustice. Okay. Who would like to guess? Well, you all know what flame is, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, Mauricio, what's a flame? Flame means uh, um, the um, uh, fire. It's uh, fire. Fire. Yeah, right. it's like a piece of fire. So when we talk about lots of fire, we talk about flames. Uh, let's see. Danu. Yeah. Danu, there's yeah. there's feedback coming from oh, your microphone. Yes, okay. Okay. Okay, and and of course you can talk when when you want to. Um, injustice. Who would like to tell me what injustice means? Like unfair. Mm -hmm. Look, who's saying that? Me, Servet. Servet, okay. Unfair? Mm -hmm. um, it's a bit stronger than that. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. How about Lucas? What do you think? About uh, injustice? Yeah. Um, something that... Uh, how may you say? Uh, it's other side of justice, okay, or or, mm -hmm. or something that go uh, <laughs> okay, okay, I pass. It, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right. Who, who would like to? Um, so so. Do you want to try? Yes. Okay, yes. so, so the unseen. Go <laughs> so, so with no picture, remember. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what um, unseen means. <laughs> Did you know that? Yes, I know. Okay. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Okay, I think injustice means doing something wrong to a human being. It is, yeah, treating someone in a very, very wrong way. I mean, justice is being right and fair just, unjust, unfair, wrong, deeply unfair. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you have that idea now. Let's go back and take a look at the screen share and see the language that he used. The flames 
of injustice. Okay, we got the withering out of there for a minute. So the flames of injustice. Now let's put withering in. When looking at flames and injustice, what do you think withering might mean? Might mean? A deeply suffer, a, a very, very suffering thing. Okay. It is, you say deeply suffering, not exactly, not exactly. That was a good, a good try, are you? Um, okay, let's, let's think about this. Has anybody been in a place where a summer is so hot and so dry that the plants died? Yes. Who's saying yes? Me, Susa. Laura? Susa. Okay. What did the plants look like? Mm. Desert. Like this? Dead? Like dead? Somebody yeah. said desert. Who said desert? Me. Lucas. Me, Lucas. Thank you. <laughs> Got to tell me your name sometimes. <laughs> okay. They, 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 um, would anyone like to add to that? I mean, uh, Soso said they're dead. Lucas said desert. Anybody else? Pale. Pale. Okay. Yeah, they've lost color. Mm -hmm. they've weak. Lost co Who says weak? That's Laura? Yes. Weak. Okay. Weak. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. So they're, they've lost color. They're dead. It's like a desert. They're weak. What withering means is it's so dry. Okay. They're dead. And in the way of being weak, they crumble to your touch. They grind into dust. So they have no color. They got brown. Okay. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's almost that crumble to dust. They wither. So when you have Withering injustice or flames that wither, it's a fire that dries you out in injustice. So what that says, when you have a person, a person suffering in withering injustice, it's a very grand language, what do you think he's saying? Uh, that a uh, uh, slave is... Uh didn't worry about uh, uh, liberty, <laughs> freedom, right. and because uh, they uh, hadn't uh, pow power for a fight. Okay, they hadn't the power for a fight. Let me, um, let's see, in certain religious backgrounds, certain religious backgrounds, there is a place of fire and punishment, and torture, okay, afterlife. He is evoking that to say that here on earth, people are being treated that badly, okay? They are, it's though they are in flames. And then we throw this word, seared, seared. Do you know what seared means? Anybody? Uh, can I try to guess? Absolutely. A seer is like um, that someone has been set on fire. Yes, yes, yes. Very close, very close. I could use that. To, to be burned? To be burned? Burned? Anybody else? It is to be burned. Um, so much so, like Elmer talks about fire, it is as though you are cooked on an open fire. Mm -hmm. You are seared. So what he is comparing the Negro slaves of that time to is people who are almost cooking under the oppression of injustice. Think of this gorgeous language that he uses. Mm -hmm. It is some of the most beautiful language anyone's ever used. Now, let's see if I can bring this all up. Um, I want to take the color away. And let's deal with joyous daybreak. Joyous daybreak. Okay. Joyous daybreak. What do I mean by daybreak? 
end of the day? Daybreak is the morning. Oh, daybreak really? is the morning. Yeah, we talk about something coming at the break of day or, or the break mm -hmm. of dawn, meaning something has broken the night, and the thing that has broken the night is the day. So, a new hope? A kind of new hope? That's exactly what he's saying there. A joyous daybreak is a new hope, a hope they had never had before. Because joyous, joyous means happy in a way you cannot describe. You are full of joy. So a daybreak, a joyous daybreak, is, like you said, a wonderful beacon of hope. And then we've got this word, which is what? Captivity. Captivity, which means what? What means captivity? Like um, kidnapped. Kidnapped. Exactly. Okay. When so, you are kid, yeah, you're kidnapped. Well, two things happen. When you are kidnapped, you are taken away against your will, and when you are in captivity, you are held against your will. Um, an animal in the zoo is in captivity. The slaves were held against their will. They were in captivity. Now, he uses joyous daybreak and to end the long night. You see? So he's contrasting the hope of the day with the sadness of the night. Yeah. I use this, and I use this speech because I think this speech, can you see me? Yep. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I use this speech because it uses some of the best words I've ever heard and in some of the best ways I've ever heard them. So this, this is an important part of the use of pronunciation. Um, from that, I mean, I can go on with the speech and talk about it, but I can also talk about and should talk about more of the things that you are interested in. So, who would anyone like to ask a question or or make a statement? Anybody? About the article or anything? Anything. Anything. Okay. This this class is wide open. I mean, I've got some stuff, but I'd rather do what you want to do. I have question. I have is Laura. Yes. Mm -hmm. I wonder uh, how can I uh, improve my pronunciation myself? What, what um, can I do? Without me, without a teacher. Yes, without teacher too, but uh, maybe I can train when I have time. I, uh, do you get YouTube? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, there's YouTube and there's Mauricio just popped up here. Um, I would watch YouTube. I would watch some American television shows in English. Mm -hmm. I would watch movies. And mm -hmm. I would watch the movies with subtitles. Do you know what I mean by subtitles? Yes. Yeah, so you can see the words while at the same time hearing them speak. And I would probably look at old movies, the old black and white ones. And here's why. They tended in the older movies to use a very standard form of speaking. The newer ones, they use more regional dialects. Uh, they use more accents. And that's not what you're looking for. You're looking for a straight, standard pronunciation. That's one. Another way that's really good is if you can get books on tape. Have you ever done that? Uh, I use uh, audio books and I started to listen to Tom Sawyer, Mark Twain. Oh, wonder but, book. Yes. But I understand only 10% maybe. Ten. Yeah, 10% 10 of it. it mm -hmm. It's funny. Tom Sawyer was written for people in the 1800s, so the language has changed. I would mm -hmm. not use Tom Sawyer. Mm. One that I would think you would really like, well, I did, 
is uh, anything by Ernest Hemingway. Uh, he wrote The Old Man and the Sea, which is one of my favorite books. His mm -hmm. language was very simple and it was very direct. So if you're listening to an audiobook, you can hear what he's saying in very simple form. Um, are you familiar with the Harry Potter books? Oh, I don't like fantastic. Okay, well that's out. <laughs> um, I like I something real. Websites? Okay. Uh, Mauricio, you had a suggestion? Yes. One, uh, Laura, I suggest you to listen to VOA, Vo Voice of America. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a thought, yeah. Um, well, and the other is BBC World uh, Oh, News. yeah. BBC World News is very good. Um, yes, because you, yeah. you have the audio, and at the same time, you have the, the do a document, read, written document. You can download mm -hmm. it. Okay. Great, Great suggestion. Bridge yes. Council is good too. Sometimes I listen to BBC radio, but uh -huh. uh, sometimes I know how uh, this word pronounce. Uh, no, I know how it pronounced, but I can't imitate that. <laughs> right. Uh, that one is hard. Um, the only way you can really do that is you can listen and listen and listen and then anytime you have some time come to one of these classes we have classes going 24 hours a day so come in your time and and just just listen and ask you're always welcome you're always welcome okay what am I getting I'm getting background <laughs> What am I getting? Lucas. 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 Be careful, buddy. Oh, uh, okay. All right. Does uh, Does that help you, Laura? Mm, yes, I will try. <laughs> and okay. I did uh, something from that. Uh, and, uh, I uh, maybe I need time <laughs> for that. Yeah, you You need to make the time, even if it's popping in for like 15, 20 minutes on a class. Uh, you're again. You're always welcome to come to any class, especially mine. Uh, but uh, does that help you? Um, you can type up words you don't understand. But really, the only way is to have a conversation. That's really yes. the best way. Yes, I mean, uh, maybe uh, I have time. Like, uh, if I study English one year, it's okay. If I study English two years, it's better than yes. one year. I yes, mean. yes. Yeah, uh, and th this is a good adjunct, adjunct to what to what you're you're studying. Okay, other questions. Thank you, Laura. Thank well, it's you. not a, it's not a question, but uh, only a, a humble suggestion. Uh, take it. Uh, yes. Uh, I think <clears throat> I think your website is very powerful, and you can talk. You can you can reach um, a lot of people around the world. So my suggestion. <clears throat> I'm sorry. That's all right. I don't know what what I have. But my suggestion is to, well, to may to create topics about, and at the same time, well, you you can learn, uh, in, uh, you can teach English, but with topics as uh, recycling or uh, information about to how how to be good good people, how to good uh, how to be good civil. Uh, to be to live to live to live in a community, uh -huh. freedom, and so on. I don't know if yeah. you agree. We we we're very careful about what we suggest and what we don't. Um, what you can do, you know, where our regular student website is. Excuse me. You, do you know where our normal um, Facebook site is? Have you seen that? Uh, normal Facebook. Yeah, we have face a Facebook account. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Yes. Okay. When you've got the what's on your mind, make that suggestion. Um, to say these are topics I would like to see classes on. Recycling. Um, we probably wouldn't talk about governments and freedom because everybody has a different opinion of that. Uh, yes. But but any other topic. Um, yeah. Suggest. How to use more bicycle, for example. Yeah. <laughs> the bicycle. Yeah, whatever, like yeah. That. Anything, yeah. Just a practical approach to doing things, how to make things. 
um, it's a it's a good suggestion. Okay. Uh, any yes. Yeah, I have okay. a question. The the verb direct, if you use it as a gerund and infinitive, how is the main change? The word which? Direct. Can you put that up in the chat room for me? Dread. Dread. Mm -hmm. Great fear. Dread. Mm -hmm. um, you can use it as a gerund, mm -hmm. uh, kind of as a complimentary. I am dreading what will happen. It, does that help you, Servet? I mean, this, we can use this verb as a gerund and infinitive. If you use it, gerund, how is the main change? And infinitive. Well, you know, the, yes. Um, Again, it, it really depends on how you use it in a sentence. Um, let's say if you wanted a subject, you know, dreading the outcome, he went anyway, meaning he was very much afraid of how things would work out, but he went after it regardless. Um, I am dreading. I fear that this will happen. Um, I am going to dread the outcome. So again, you're using it as the infinitive there saying, I will be afraid of this. I am going to dread. Uh, we rarely use dread with the infinitive, but you can. And, and that's the context you would use it in. Does that help? Okay. Okay. Somebody else? Uh, yes. Sorry. No, that's okay. <laughs> What's what the difference between what's the difference between anybody and nobody? How when when can ah. we we use? Well, let's. There's there's three of them. Let me pop this up and I'll put it on screen share so you can see it. Because you need to have a distinction of these three. Let's see. Let me get this back out. So we have. <laughs> Everybody, E V E R Y B O D Y, anybody, A N Y B O D Y, and nobody, N O B O D Y. Everybody see that? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Everybody means all of us. So there are 10 people in this class, okay? 10 mm -hmm. people that I can see. And Kevin says, I want everybody to take part, which means I want each one of you. I want Ayu, I want Carlos, I want Nu, I want Soso, Servette, Laura, uh, Elmer. Everybody needs to do something. You see? All people. Anybody, any, means one. So... A person, one person, or two people can simply volunteer. I might come to a house and I might say, is anybody home? Which means, is there at least one person who's home? Anybody is at least one. Anybody. Okay? Mm -hmm. Nobody is no one. So if I come into a house and say, is anybody home? No person answers. I say, oh, nobody is home. There is no one here. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes, yes sir. Yeah, that's thank good. you. Sure. Very, very well explained. Well, thank you. Thank you. Is there another question? I mean, these are great questions. Great questions. Who who would like to? Yes. Elmer, yes. I don't know how to use either, neither, and whether. Okay, great, 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 great. Thank you. Let's go back up to screen share and make sure I've got all of those up. So it's either, neither, and whether. Those are the three, Elmer? Yeah. Okay. Either is where you are choosing between two things. Let me put that up. Choosing between 
two things. Um, so, can I say I'd like to drink either coffee or tea? That would. Here's here's what would what happen. Um, in that context, I might have coffee or tea, and I will ask you, would you like coffee or tea? You would like either coffee or tea. Pick one. And you would say, quite politely, I'll take either one. Okay? Um, say, I'll take one or the other. But usually it's in the form of a question, and we're asking you to choose. So it's either one. Now, let's go down here where we've got neither. And let's say someone comes up to you and asks if you would like coffee or tea, but you don't like coffee or tea. What would you rather have? Uh, a glass of water? Uh, a Coca-Cola? Something that's not coffee or tea. So they said, would you like coffee or tea? And you would say, neither. I don't want either. <laughs> Do you see the difference? Yeah. Okay. Laura, I think that's you. Yeah. No, no. No, that's me. Uh, give me another option. Okay. Yeah, an yeah, give me another option. Another yeah. option. Give me something different. Okay. So neither means I don't want either. Either is positive, neither is negative. Yes. So, Kevin, yes. can I say also neither of them? Yes, you'd say probably neither one of them, but neither of them would be correct. Okay. All right? Oh, yeah. Right. Now, let's go down to weather, okay? Weather doesn't belong in this at all. Weather means if. So I don't know whether something will happen. I don't know if something will happen. Do you see? Yeah. Weather means if. Now, we would say whether or not this may happen, it may not happen. It's one we would say whether or not, and that's very common in American English. But you can also say whether, and it would mean exactly the same thing. Exactly the same thing. More commonly, we say whether or not, but that is redundant. It is redundant. Okay? Okay. Let's go on. This is getting really interesting. <laughs> oh, Kevin, I'd like to say thank you very much. You... Yes, oh. thank you. Oh, you're welcome. We still have five minutes. Anything? You're certainly welcome. Like I said, I, I love doing these classes. I have so much fun. Great um, information for me today. Your class okay. is really exciting. Okay. Well, good. I'm glad you were here. Thank you for coming. Thank you so much. Um, anybody Thank else? You much, <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. And I see you tomorrow, maybe? I hope. Okay. Mm. Okay. I'll be here. Let's see. Um, Makete. Makete, where are you from? Uh, I'm from Senegal. Senegal. Uh, right near Gambia on the western coast of Africa. Very good. What brings you yeah. here? Uh, to, uh, to speak English as as you. As an American or an Englishman would? Yeah. Okay. Well, we're, you're kind of late to, to where we are. Uh, oh, here's a good one. I'm going to, to help because um, Elmer gave me another word. It is whereas. Elmer, is that yours? Yes. Whereas is almost never used except in legal language if you are making a proclamation whereas means it is true that it is true that so if we are saying uh, well, let's see oh somebody from the US won a gold medal in badminton which we never do 
And he said, whereas Kevin Butterfield, that's me, has won a gold medal in badminton. And whereas that is something no American has ever done in the history of the sport. Uh, we therefore <laughs> say, good job, Kevin. Okay? Um, it is an official, it's used in an official proclamation or in a legal document. That's how whereas is used. Good question, though. Thank you, Elmer. Uh, on the team. <laughs> Thank you for the you, explanation. Very you're welcome. Good on it. Sure, you're welcome. Anybody else? It's new? Yeah. Yes, did you have a question? No, thank you very no? much. Okay. Makete, how about you? Uh, yeah? Do you have a question about anything we've discussed? Uh, I, don't, I don't think so. Okay, well, you, you've come in kind of late, so you missed a lot of it. Um, but, but come to some other classes. Uh, people are always welcome. Now, uh, you're from I, Senegal. I now, is the native language of, or the, the official language of Senegal English? No, it's French. It's French, okay, because, because the French were there. I, I was yeah. curious about that. On the East Coast, there was a lot of English. On the West, it was French and Portuguese. Okay. okay. And again, you're well. Yeah. Uh, uh, official language of Gambia is English. Of Gambia? But of Gambia that, is English, yeah. That little country uh, right in the middle of Senegal? Senegal? Yeah, it's English. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I didn't realize that. I didn't realize yeah. that. Um, well, come to think of it, that's right, because Prince Charles has gone down to Gambia a few times. Um, uh, okay, but, but yeah, Senegal being French. Okay, guys, my friends, it's been a very good class, and you've been wonderful. So thank you for coming, but I'm going to have to go now. Um, and I hope to see you tomorrow. Maybe at the next class. Whatever, all right? So goodbye for now, my friends, and I'll see you later. Okay? Bye-bye. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Goodbye. Take care.